Hey you guys, so we're gonna start off with a donut and I honestly thought I had made a donut before but the only donut that I had made was the one with Pusheen in it. He was inside of the donut. But other than that, I haven't really made just a donut tutorial so I was really looking forward to this and the best part was the icing. Mixing the icing, which I used polymer clay softener and polymer clay was a little bit time consuming. <laughs> it took me a while but once I finished, it was very satisfying to glaze the donut. And I got carried away with the glaze to the point where I had to go back and remove some of it. But glazing the donut was pretty fun. It looks pretty cool, huh? But I want to go ahead and add the eyes. And I was thinking of painting the mouth. But I would have had to bake it and gone back. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and just roll out a piece of clay and add the mouth like that. The icing, I decided to do all of these colors. I think it turned out pretty cute. Some of the icing wouldn't... Not the icing, the sprinkles, I'm sorry. Some of the sprinkles would not come out, like I wouldn't be able to put them onto the glaze, but at the end, this is how the donut turned out. It turned out pretty cute. <laughs> Sometimes I like spicy popcorn, sometimes I like buttery popcorn. I'm not really into the sweet popcorn, is it the caramel one? But I like the spicy popcorn when you put like hot sauce and then like lemon and salt and then like it starts to like melt the popcorn because it's like liquidy. I don't know, it's pretty good. <laughs> but um, we're gonna go ahead and add the popcorn on top. I was very intimidated on how this was gonna come out. I was almost scared it wasn't gonna come out, but in the end, the results turned out pretty okay. I'm pretty happy with them. So I watered, I'm gonna water down some acrylic paint, and the acrylic paint is like a orange slash brown that I mixed together with a little bit of yellow. I watered it down a lot, a lot, so when I put it on the clay, of course, it's gonna look like it's water on it. <laughs> and, but I just let it go ahead and dry up. And it's going to look pretty cool, I think. I think it turned out pretty... I'm pretty proud of myself. <laughs> so I waited until the popcorn stuff dried up. And then I went back with some watered down brown slash yellow kind of toned um, acrylic paint. And then put in the little pieces. Because popcorn has like those little parts that are brown from the kernels. And this is how the popcorn stayed. <laughs> clay was super dirty so I want to get uh, grab some rubbing alcohol and remove the all the lint with that and I let it dry and then I'm gonna outline the, the outside which is a little not perfectly smooth so I tried my best to make it as realistic as possible even though my figures are definitely not realistic at all <laughs> but I'm using some clay softener to outline the part of where the seed is and I'm using some watered down acrylic paint for the most part, I think if anything, mostly in all cases, all my acrylic paint is watered down, especially when I'm trying to add more detail, like where I'm trying to add the seed here. Sometimes I water it a lot, depending on like, I don't want the color to be too like intense, and sometimes I don't water it a lot, but I usually end up adding water to the acrylic paint. The brand that I use for acrylic paint is Folk Art, and I really like it because it's usually very opaque. And um, I've bought Crestmore before, and it seems like it is it's already watered down so it's not as opaque but yeah so the avocado avocado in spanish <laughs> i'm gonna add these lines which are optional i guess but i noticed they do have them sometimes but it may look it make look cuter it may look uglier but i decided to add them but <laughs> there is my avocado almost done it almost looks like it's sleeping Now let's make some onigiri and I'm gonna make the base and then the funnest part I feel is gonna be the part where we add the little bit pieces of rice and it is gonna be a little time consuming but it was pretty fun for me and I decided to add it all over because that is the point right <laughs> but I was debating I was looking at like ideas of what to do for food and I was on the I was looking at all the emoji food and the onigiri was on there and I was like of course let's do this I've never had an onigiri they look really good and I definitely want to try them I don't I really want to go to Japan but it is an expensive trip <laughs> maybe one day but that is definitely on my bucket list to go to Japan so I get a bunch of food and Hello Kitty's over there I love Hello Kitty I 
I love Hello Kitty. I love cute stuff. I I want to go to Japan so bad. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and make the face now. And since the seaweed part was like very dark, I decided to go ahead and make the face white. Um, maybe I could have made it, made it gray, but I decided to do it white. I don't know, just to make the contrast more. And on the animation, I did add little pieces of sesame seed. But for now, it's going to stay like this. love me some grapes and you know what I realized this tutorial or like making grapes in clay is super easy it's probably one of the easiest things you can do like I feel like it's a beginner I don't know I, I it's like super easy I was like oh I'm done already and I decided to add a little bit of wet acrylic paint with purple to like add a little dimension because like your girl here is trying to make it realistic even though it's not really realistic <laughs> but and the leaf, I decided to add it. I was gonna just leave it with the stem, but I felt like a little kind of weird, like it was missing something. And I was like, I'm gonna add the stem. No, no, I'm gonna add the leaf. And with the needle, I cleaned it a little because I had a lint, but with the needle, I decided to go back, add a little dimension to the leaf. And then, of course, I like to work with wet acrylic paint. <laughs> so I went back and added more dimension to the leaf, which is kind of optional, I feel, but I decided to do it. Now I'm gonna add the eyes and the little tiny mouth. And I'm gonna try my best to put it on there. Because I'm like, how is it all going to fit? But it worked out. So this is how the grapes turned out. Out of all the terms I made for this video, the French toast is definitely my favorite one. I really enjoyed making it. I was a little scared it was going to come out right, but it did. I'm really proud of it. And if you see little pieces of like stuff on the clay, it is glitter just because I mixed it with a like, different clay that had glitter on it. And so I tried my best to outline it. And then because the French toast has a bunch of texture, I went to get ahead and use different little tools to like add the texture on it. I was looking at an image. I was like, let's try to make this like as the same as possible if possible <laughs> so i went and made some little holes and i used a toothbrush to add a texture on it and then i went back with the needle and added like i do little circles with the needle to add um, the texture more texture to it and then i try to fix it and now i'm gonna go ahead and add some watered down acrylic paint of course and i added i think the colors that i mixed for the acrylic paint were like brown orange and yellow and then i went back with some darker one and then i went back with some lighter one so i added like different different shades of the same thing almost i'm gonna outline the outside and i added a little bits of brown brown like orange darker and I went back with the needle to add little pokes. I noticed there's like little holes around the border that I did. I'm adding the face now. And the best part was adding the butter. And of course, at the end, of course, is adding the syrup. But the next best part was adding the butter onto the French toast. I think it, it looks pretty cute. And I added, I tried my best to add it in between the eyes because it's like it's like super happy. I'm gonna fully bake it because I'm not gonna be able to bake it after I add the resin. And I mixed the resin with some gel polish, some yellow and orange gel polish that I had here. And it looks so cool, I love it. This is my favorite one. I think it's just because of the resin, the butter, the texture. I really like it and it looks pretty cool under the UV light. This is how it turned out, and I'm gonna remove the stickiness with some rubbing alcohol, but here is the French toast, I love it. So go ahead and bake all of them except for the French toast. I'm gonna go ahead and glaze them. The brand that I use for glazing right now is the Sculpey Gloss Glaze, because I finished the other glaze that I, I was using, polyurethane, like clear varnish, but I finished it. And for the French toast, I'm just gonna glaze around the parts that didn't have the resin on it, and just like just because i feel like i wanted to protect it a little bit and of course i'm gonna add the strong glue which is like a crazy glue and the magnet so they could end up on my fridge even though like i can't put it on the front of the fridge but i need to put them on the side of the fridge but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial i hope you guys have an awesome day and goodbye